I would say a normal resident user that's looking at broadband services is not exceeding the demand that is above and beyond maybe say a 25 meg. Right. And that's on that kind of the high end. And if you look at across rural America, uh, the demand for broadband is somewhere around the 60 to 65 percent range. As you move into urban America, of course, there's a much larger demand. You know, I think Google's view of this is I want to test environments to try to figure out how do I create the demand. And I think right. our goal is to create a network that will drive the expertise, the individuals that will create apps that drive demand for a gig network. You know, I think in today's environment, the demand for that type of network is going to be really limited to enterprise level customers that are transmitting a significant amount of data uh, because video doesn't demand that right. um, and other applications. So from your perspective at CenturyLink, um, how valuable would, would a test like that be to, to see what happens on a network that you guys are a part of? You know, I think it depends. I think from our view, there's an excite we live and breathe broadband. Right. We know it extremely well. You know, the gig is exciting to us as well because that's a core competency of us. Yeah. Um, I think the big question for us is what does this business model really mean, not only to CenturyLink but also to the residents of Columbia yeah. and the business partners of Columbia. We're, we're open. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, we're extremely open to, uh, we're invested in the Columbia. Right. Uh, we put more money in Columbia, if you look at per capita, than just about any market in CenturyLink's footprint. So we're invested. We love this community. So we're interested in being a part of it. There's just a lot of unknown. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, for us is let's be there, let's be a part of it, and then we'll make strategic decisions as more facts are available. Fantastic. Thanks a lot.